Do you think a guy should pay for all the dates? No, I disagree. Why? What's going on? Today, we're going to be talking to entrepreneurs in the streets of Miami. My name is Michael Barayev, and we're here to inspire the youth. So if you have not yet seen any of these questions, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, and you'll see some amazing, amazing footage with us asking questions to the people in the streets of Miami and getting some amazing answers. So let's go, baby. Let's get some questions answered. What do you think about salespeople? Annoying. Why? Ask too many questions. Sometimes they just don't get the hint. When was the last time you had an experience with a salesperson? I think last time was at J. Crew. I was just trying to browse around and they kept on asking me if I was interested in a different product and I said no, I was just browsing. They didn't get the hint. They kept on asking me questions. I ended up leaving the store pretty soon after. So you didn't buy anything because of that? Yes. Wow, so how would you want someone to approach you if you were to buy something? Just ask me if I'm looking for something. Ask me once if I say I'm just browsing, get the hint. But I always tell the salesperson, if I need help, I'll go up to them. One tip for someone that's in sales right now. Know your audience, know your customer. What is the number one regret you have in your life? Not having traveled as much as I would like to. And why didn't you travel? Family matters, money, time. What do you do for work? I am a real estate agent. What do you think about the housing market? Yes, the interest rates have, in a way, stopped the craziness that we had in the last, I would say, COVID market. But prices are correcting, but not dropping. For someone that's in real estate right now, one tip. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Never give up if this is your dream job. If you had one place to travel in the world, where would you go? Egypt. So what do you do for work? I own my own basketball training company. And how'd you get into that? After I got done playing pro basketball, I broke my foot and I had to find an alternative. How was it to coach young people? It was awesome, man. You know, you see yourself into them. You learn patience. You see growth coming out of it you know, on all areas of their life, like basketball on the court and off the court. So for young cats that are actually trying to get into sports and stuff, what are three tips you would tell them to become better athletes and better players? One, practice every day. It doesn't have to be actually like with a basketball, some type of fitness, running, push-ups every day. Because if you're not practicing, someone is. Two, don't get distracted. You have friends, you have girlfriends, it's easy to get distracted. Once you get distracted, it's going to throw you off course. The last one, I would just say just stay consistent. No matter how you feel, what's going on, it's part of life. Life's going to happen, but just stay consistent. What's going on so far? We had some amazing questions and amazing answers as you guys have seen. We still got some more coming in. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, do me a favor. Subscribe to the channel. Click the little notification bell so you know every single week we come at you with value videos and value content. Let's go. What is the number one tip to become a better salesperson in your opinion? Be okay with taking no's, stay driven, keep asking people even though they reject you. So how did you get into sales? I've been a server all my life. I've been doing like waitressing, busting tables, and I was like, fuck that, I don't want to do that anymore. So I applied on LinkedIn to like 70 different jobs, landed on this one, and I was like, fuck it. What is the one thing that happened to you in your life that actually was changed in a positive way when it came to sales? Just getting this job has really pushed me outside my comfort zone. I think that's the most important thing when you get into sales is getting pushed outside your comfort zone and with anything in life if you're comfortable then that's an issue why is it that 42 years ago you guys decided to get married and it worked for 42 years while well, these days people can't get married for a month straight different folks different strokes people were making money back then but still not like they didn't have the expenses that you have now you settled for less you settled for the used car not the new car but now it's the uh, the Birkin bag is more important than putting food on your table. One tip for someone who just got married. Be true, be true to yourself, be true to your mate. Do you think a guy should pay for all the dates? No, I disagree. When we first started dating, he paid for the first date, and then by the second and third date, like I would pay for a drink towards the end, and then once we were exclusively dating, I, we would start splitting stuff. So when you guys get married, you guys are gonna have a same bank we're account? Married. Oh, you're married, congratulations. How long have you guys been married? Three months. So do you guys share a bank account or have separate bank accounts? Same bank account. Really, why? <laughs> old school I guess everything's the same what about like if you want to spend some money on something and he wants to spend some how do you guys deal with that I tell him I make my own money and if I want to pay for something and I want to get something I could get it what about your opinion she's a boss what got you guys to say you know what we're gonna make a commitment to be together because we're in love with each other and he's my soulmate it's the love of my life I love it now what's gonna keep that love when things kind of get a little tough and challenging what's gonna keep that fire to stick around with each other we just have conversations and work through stuff and communicate with one another and work through stuff or best friends. You have to marry your best friend. It's important. What are three tips for someone to become a better leader? Take responsibility for everything that happened in your life. Push your boundaries. Become better today than you were yesterday. Increase at least one person better every day. And the third one, have the empathy in order to see the best version of every person in themselves and help them to reach that level, basically. 
So you have seen some amazing questions, some amazing answers, some amazing people. My name is Michael Barai. If you have still not yet subscribed to the channel, do me a solid. Share this video with someone and subscribe to the channel so we can blow the channel to 100 plus thousand, 100,000 plus subscribers because I need your support, I need your help. So I'll see you guys in the next video.